And then, so when Mike Bray got the job at Notre Dame, Dick Vitale is touting, this is great. He was at Duke, and of course he was at DeMatha, and it's a great fit to see a nice Catholic boy go to DeMatha, and we all know Mike's Protestant. <laughs> I called Mike immediately, or he had called me, he was excited, the press conference was within hours, I said, for God's sake, keep the jaw turned in. <laughs> <laughs> but we were worried about the jaw there for a couple of hours. So, so, uh, but, uh, and Tom knows this, and Dan knows this, and many of us know this, that the beauty of the Irish, and uh, Mary Catherine, my wife, both, all four of her grandparents are from Ireland, and we've been back many times, and is the language. So I, I have a chance to go where father's mother's side of the family is to go play professional basketball. Instead, I choose to go to Ireland because I'm, I can be part of the culture right away, and I, can, I know the language. So I fly over to Shannon, we, uh, we have a game right away in, in uh, Killarney, I go down, we play, um, on the same day I fly in, you know, you fly overnight, you end right in the morning, we play two games, and then we go in and we go out as a team to speak, we go out to this restaurant, and I can't understand a word. <laughs> and, I, and for a week I can't understand a word, and after a week I understand every word. But the language, the lilt, the, the, the lyricism, the, just the, uh, the, uh, it's the beauty of the language is, is, the, is the beauty of the people. And uh, I'll give you an example. I was working at a camp one summer, and uh, we come in from a beautiful Irish summer day. And it truly was. It was. The sun was bright, and it was uh, unusual in that regard. We come in, and it, it was uh, Eamon Malloy was from the north of Ireland, right from the Letter County, really, actually, right from up that way uh, in Donegal. And we come in, and he goes, Oh, you keep, and we sit down, and I have a t shirt on. And he says, Oh, you keep your jacket on. I said, No, no. And uh, you know, we're kind of feeding ourselves in the middle of the day as the big man. He says, Oh, you keep your jacket on. I said, no, 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 a t-shirt. You know, it's a beautiful day. I just have a t-shirt on. And he says, you have to keep your jacket on there? I said, no, no, I don't keep my jacket on. I have a t-shirt on. You have a t-shirt on. And, I have, and so this is a minute and a half, which is annoying. <laughs> to be really misunderstood for a minute and a half. No, I don't have my jacket on. He said, you keep your jacket on, you wish fuck there. I said, what are you talking about? I have a t-shirt on. As most people would. Anyways, after a long time, he said, what he was saying was, he was pointing at, I was eating my baked potato, but I was keeping my skin up. And he was saying, <laughs> you keep your jacket on your wish, what the? I keep my jacket skin on my wee small spud potato. <laughs> Uh, there was a lot of examples like that, a, a, a way too long conversation with a guy who said he was going to call me at 10.30. I said, don't call me, just come on by. He says, well, I'll call you at 10.30. I said, there's no need to call me, just come by at 10.30. He says, well, I'll call you. I said, I can't really hear the phone. It's in the lobby of my apartment, but I can't. Why don't you just come by at 10.30? I'll call you at 10.30. I'm like, what? But calling, of course, is coming by. <laughs> I wasn't a quick study as Father James went to the apartment. I'll tell you a so it was so many examples like that, but the great language and great friends that we've met, and many who uh, some of the some of the slides were so deep to see we've been there, and a uh, good friend of ours li lives right on the coast of Moore, uh, and uh, you know so great great memories. But uh, most importantly, let me leave you with this: uh, a guy walks into a bar in New York City, and he notices the guy next to him has a little bit of an Irish accent. He says, "Excuse me," he says, "Are you from Ireland?" Oh, he says, "I am." He says, "That's unbelievable." He says. I'm from Ireland too. He says, where are you from in Ireland? He says, I'm from Donegal. He says, for God's sake. He says, I too am from Donegal. He says, where are you from in Donegal? He says, I'm from Letterkenny. For God's sake. He says, I too am from Letterkenny. He says, Mary and Joseph. He says, where'd you go to school? He says, I went to St. Bridges. Of course, for God's sake, I too went to St. Bridges. He says, oh, slaps him on the back. About this time, a guy comes down the other end of the bar, orders a beer. He says, you can have a beer if you want, pal, but it's going to be a long night. Murphy twins are drunk again. <laughs>